so i'm starting this look off just kind of showing you guys my curls and my texture i did wash my hair this morning prior to making this video but this will work on either freshly washed or like a few days old hair i do it both ways so no worries if your hair is not freshly washed you just want to make sure that your curls are still intact more so towards your ends so I'm starting out by taking this wide tooth comb and just parting my hair. I find that putting a part in it instead of just slicking it all back in the same direction really does help me kind of tame the thickness and fullness of my hair. Next, I'm grabbing my Eco Styler Gel and I will be using this gel throughout the tutorial as my main product of choice for today. So even to do my edges later on in the video, I will still be using Eco Styler Gel. So I'm putting a pretty generous amount and just slapping this on here. Now I did notice that when I put this on freshly washed hair, it does harden a bit. So if you don't like that, I would definitely choose a different product. Uh, but when my hair is a few days old and I use this, it usually doesn't get hard, it stays soft. So just a little bit of information for you guys. And now I'm just taking a brush and brushing it back and forming my ponytail. If you guys watch closely, I'm not taking my brush throughout the entire length of my hair. I'm just smoothing out the part that I want smooth. If you take the brush throughout the length of your hair, that will make your curls become more frizzy than curly. And as you can see, I'm um, kind of on the left, how at the top they're more frizzy than they are curly. And so that's what happened. I just took the brush too far down. So definitely be careful with that. And I am just smoothing out my ponytail to make it slick back. Um, this product really does help with like slicking back your hair. So now I'm taking this huge headband that I stole from my boyfriend. Um, he has dreads, so he has a lot of these. So I know he doesn't mind me taking a few. And I'm just putting this on my ponytail. What I love about this one is that it's super long and stretchy. So you can make your ponytail as tight or as loose as you want. The looser it is, the bigger your puff or ponytail is going to appear to be. I like to do a kind of mid tightness. Um, a little small, but a little big at the same time. So... Yeah, that's what I like to do. And this is a hairstyle doing like five minutes before class. So yeah, not that difficult. So next I'm just grabbing the Eco Styler again and I'm just going to put this on my edges just to kind of smooth them down and make it look more like my hair is just laying down super flat and just make it more sleek to blend in with the rest of the sleekness that I have going on with this hairstyle. And also with it being winter time, I know that everyone won't be able to do this depending on like how cold it is where you live. But in Memphis, it's been super warm and super hot. So I've been able to kind of wet my hair and do this, but definitely take your weather in your area into consideration because I don't want you guys getting sick. All right guys, so once I get my edges slicked down, I'm kind of just pulling on my puff a little bit to tighten it in certain areas um yeah that's what i'm doing here so once i get my edges done i'm just pulling on my ponytail a little bit to adjust it and tighten it in some areas where it's feeling a bit looser but that's pretty much how it turns out um i definitely should have added maybe a bit more product to slick all of my hair down because i did miss a few spots but like i said this is something i do before class in like five minutes or less so this is just what it looks like. And these are my curls that are just intact for me washing my hair. No extra product on them or anything. I just let them air dry. So now I'm taking my scarf, which I love this scarf. I had it for so long. Um, I'm just tying this around my edges and I'm going to just wait around for maybe like two to five minutes and just leave it on there. This is going to help to set my edges in place so that they don't move. And then I just take it off after about five minutes and then I am done. And this is how it looks after I put the scarf on. It makes them lay down a bit more natural looking. Like my hair just kind of grows in that way. So I think it's really cool when you do it like that. And now I'm kind of just like messing with my hair and trying to figure out like if there's anything I need to fix. But this is pretty much just how it looks on a day-to-day -day basis. Super easy, super quick. And you guys have totally been requesting this tutorial. So I hope you guys enjoy this one. I love this hairstyle. I think it's so cute um, and really, really easy to do. Nothing fancy at all. So if you guys do recreate this look or use the steps that I use, definitely tag me in your photos. And I will see you guys in my next video.